بقري قال لك كيف ما هي وقعد زعلان وقع سي سالا جي قد بيا سي سالا من ديا و Nofa is waiting to see her son for the first time in three years. It's a reunion of a lifetime. وكيف هلا حاسس اني شفت الماما This reunification shows that there is always hope and that when people are fleeing uh, persecution uh, they, we need the international community and countries like Canada need to offer them a safe space The smiles mask Ahmad's terrifying journey out of Iraq In 2014, Ahmad and his family were part of 6,000 Yazidis abducted by extremists in Sinjar, Iraq. He would spend another year in captivity before finding freedom. Last year, his mother and siblings escaped, but Ahmad wasn't so lucky. With the help of UNHCR, last month he was reunited with his uncle and able to contact his mother, now living in Canada, for the first time in years. يعني عملياوي همو وقد سوندا زكي عماد ابو يعني وسا عملياوي او كل هم وبسرد التاريخ الجديد ابو يعني من قصري ما هو يعني قصته يقلك بزحمه وقلك يعني عماد بشتي داغاوي دي يعني كيف يقلك هاتي وقد اشتكي شورا وقع ايمان نوبوي وسا كيف داغاوي شرا plans were made for the mother and son to reunite in person UNHCR, along with the Canadian government, facilitated Ahmad's relocation to Canada's Manitoba province. For UNHCR, family unity is one of the most important principles for us. Um, the family provides a really important support network for people who've been through things like Ahmad has been through. Now safe with his family, Ahmad is adjusting to life outside of captivity. In Iraq, he was forced to speak Arabic. Communicating in Kurdish again is sometimes a challenge. But for this family, the most important language is love. For the first time in years, Ahmad can begin to let go of the past and focus on the future. I'm going to go to the house and 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 I'm going to go to the house and